Here now is Gary Kalbaum from Kalbaum Capital Management. He's a Fox News contributor. And Courtney Dominguez from Payne Capital Management. Courtney, I'll start with you. Is he right? I mean, markets don't like hearing it. And we don't know how much progress he's making, but he's taking a tough stand. Is he right? Yeah, and I think what's kind of interesting is we finally had a week here where China and the U.S. were not going to talk trade, and now we're here talking about um, the U.S. and Canada. But it's actually not the first time that we've seen this. In the past, the U.S. and Canada has had trade negotiations that have gone down kind of to the wire where they've had to hammer out these details. So, you know, honestly, I don't think that Trump is trying to go to a trade war here. I don't think Canada is trying to do that either. And I think at some point here we will come to a negotiation, especially before the midterms. That would be a big win for Trump. And I think that's what we'll see. Yeah. Speaking of a win, Gary, it looks like he's closest with Mexico. That would be ironic if that was the first one to go in the win column. Yeah. Quite amazing, and it is a start. And look, I've been talking for weeks here. There is not one thing I like about tariffs. It is the consumer that pays for them in the end. But if this, these tactics get us to a point where a fair is fair, that would be great news. And there is a fact here. We have been screwed for years by all these countries. There is no doubt in my mind he is right about it. I just worry about how he's going about it. The good news is the economy has not been affected by it, nor the markets. And let's hope it stays that way, because if, if things change, I'm sure the uh, president will change. Let's hope. Folks, stay with us. Another big story developing inside the Beltway. Google's CEO is set to meet with Republican lawmakers on Friday to address allegations of bias against conservative voices in its search results. Fox Business's Blake Berman is live at the White House with the details. Hi, Blake. Hi there, David. Now Republicans up on Capitol Hill are going to be able to pose their questions to Google's leader. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, will be headed here to Washington on Friday, specifically up to Capitol Hill. We were told that he will be taking questions as part of his tour up there with a couple dozen members of the Republican conference. This comes, of course, as many Republicans, including President Trump, have expressed their concerns that Google and other social media platforms, they feel or at least they worry in some cases, uh, could be censoring conservative views. Pichai released this statement, though, earlier today, saying, quote, I look forward to meeting with members on both sides of the aisle, answering a wide range of questions and explaining our approach. The number two Republican in the House, of course, is Kevin McCarthy, and he spoke about this issue with Maria Bartiromo earlier this morning. I'm concerned because 90% of all searches go through Google. 90%? Yeah, and 95% of everybody drops off by that second page. So that first page matters a lot. There are real concerns or the conservative voices being able to come across. Meantime, over at the Department of Justice here in Washington earlier today, the Attorney General Jeff Sessions, the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein were a part of a group that sat down with state attorneys general from all over the country, Republicans and Democrats, the issue being consumer protection and data privacy as it relates to social media platforms, David. Okay, Blake, thank you very much. Gary and Courtney are back with us. Gary, I can't help but think of Ronald Reagan's scariest nine words in the English language. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. I mean, whenever I hear the government coming in to the rescue, I think the situation is going to get worse, not better. I think this is just a matter of putting these companies on notice. I'm not so sure they're going to jump in and start throwing antitrust at them. Look, there is no doubt in my mind with their words and with their actions on the platforms, there is a ton of bias. I have tested it myself while sure. putting certain keywords and I all agree. you have is articles from the But you really the left, think the government's going right. to make it better, Gary? Uh, I, look, I don't know if they're going to make it better, but I think they're going to put them on notice and they know the ever reaching, overarching government and the big hand uh, yeah. will come down on them. So maybe if, if it at least change the behavior, that would be good. Courtney, news. I have no doubt there's bias at Google. And frankly, I think it's getting worse. They've got new algorithms that make it even more biased than it was. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe the government is the answer. I believe I believe competition is the answer. You can certainly put a spite, spotlight on the bias uh, and do other things. But whenever the government comes in, I think the situation gets worse. That may be true, but I think what's happening is it's bringing it to light. It's hitting headlines right now and it's putting a fire under these companies because this really goes so much beyond politics right now. This is something that's a heart of the issue at a lot of people who are using these databases. And are, is it being biased against certain opinions? And what are they doing with our data? 
So I'm more happy about the fact it's bring it to light that these companies are going to have to deal with it one way or the other. Well, they are. There is competition, though. There is Bing and others. I know 90% of it is Google, but there is competition. Gary, that's Courtney. not competition, David. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for the little guys, Gary. Forgive me, but I'm rooting for the little guys you. in this case. Gary and Courtney, good to see you both. Thank you very much, Melissa.